Hello guys, time for another video from my car about dev career and not that much about Laravel. And today I want to talk about technological trends, frameworks and tools, about new frameworks and tools, how quickly they are adopted by the whole community. If you follow the superstars of Laravel community, the most active people like the team of Laravel, Taylor, Nunu, Mohammed, others, also people like Freck from Spotty and Spotty team, Jeffrey Way and others, it seems like they always are ahead of the curve on the technology and whatever new technology is adopted, they are in a hurry to try it out, use it, promote it, whatever it is on the market, live wire, newer version of PHP, newer version of Laravel, inertia, tailwind, whatever is the new stack, new technology, Twitter is full of that, tweets about it, and it seems like it's getting popular day by day and now everyone should jump on that. But in fact, if you look at the whole market, I have two examples for you, but there are hundreds of other examples where technology isn't that fast if you take a look at the whole market. So recently I tweeted about our quick admin panel generator. I have looked at the stats of the versions. We have three versions of our generator of the code. The oldest one historically launched in 2015 was jQuery data table, so Laravel plus jQuery, and it's still the most popular one. So in 2020, we released a Vue.js version where Vue.js is the core of the project and Laravel is only API. And then in 2021, we released Livewire version with tall stack with Tailwind theme. And now half a year after the launch of that Livewire version, those newer versions of Vue and Livewire don't count even for 40% of the new projects combined. And still 60%, more than 60% of people choose jQuery version. Another example is PHP version. Recently, I posted a YouTube video on PHP 8 talking about the syntax, the new changes, but staggering statistics is that only 25% of the market are on PHP 8. Although older versions are out of support, except for PHP 7.4, but it's out of support really soon at the end of November, but still the market didn't shift. Why? Because the shift is not easy. It seems, again, if you look at the trending guys, trending teams on the market where they can afford themselves to experiment with new technologies, they will always do that. Of course, they are ahead of schedule. They are kind of pioneers. But if we look at regular developers around the world, there are a lot of reasons why they would not adopt new technologies. Either they wouldn't be able to use it on any projects because the projects would require to recode which then costs money, which they don't have and clients wouldn't give them the budget or some other reasons, or they just don't want to relearn new things unless they have to. That's totally fine. So my overall point of this video is that new technologies are not that quick to be adopted by the whole market. It seems sexy. It seems all over news and all over Twitter, but don't get fooled. It's totally okay to not use the newest technologies. If you want to, and if you can afford it, please do experiment, try it out, blog about it, shoot videos about it, advertise those new versions, cool. But what I don't like is people blaming each other, like newer guys blaming others for not upgrading to the newest tools and vice versa. People who are stuck in kind of stone age blaming other people to make progress. There's room for everyone in the market, for those who are quick to adopt new technologies, for those who create new technologies, and for those who are okay with sticking with the old ones. So if you are still coding with jQuery, it's okay if it works for you. If you are quick to jump on the latest Laravel, PHP, Vue.js, and others, it's totally fine if it works for you, but don't blame the others. And in general, it seems like we all live in some kind of bubbles created for ourselves. So whoever we actually follow online on Twitter or news or whatever is your source to follow things about Laravel and technology, we kind of create our own source of the news. And it seems like the world is like that. But try to get broader perspective, try to find alternative opinions, read about alternative opinions, read productive discussions without blaming each other, because whichever tool you use to create the projects, our goal is to solve the client's problems. And if you can solve that with whatever tool you use, and if it works for you, then it's fine. If you have anything to add to my thought, shoot in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.